Today we're reviewing the Lagavulin 16. So Lagavulin whiskey is from the Isla, which is at the south of Scotland. You spell it is lay for an American or English speaking, but you pronounce it Isla, which if you hear this name, you're gonna think about other whiskeys such as Ardbeck and Laphroaig, then you're in for, you take a whiff, a peated whiskey. Peated means that during the process after they finish it off the whiskey, it's gonna have peat that they burn underneath the, the column, and then you burn it up, then the smoke goes into the whiskey. So if you're a person who does not like smoked whiskeys, this is not per se for you. Just from the smell, of course you have the vanilla notes, the nose that they would call it, some caramel, but you can tell that compared to Laphroaig, it's not an intense smoky hit, pungent nose hit. So it's quite sweet, caramel, toffee, chocolate-like, but not that you're thinking that you're smelling something like gasoline that I've heard from the chick Lafroig and Artbeck. So that's the first nose whiff. First impression. On the, on the first part of the whiskey, you can already sense that you're in for a treat because this is a single malt whiskey of high caliber. So there's a first part then there's the body and then there's this long ambrosio finish. What I really like about, specifically about Lagavulin 16, is that it has a viscosity towards it. You can equate it to something like honey or syrup, that it coats your tongue and your throat as if something quite silkishly smooth and it rolls over your tongue. And after that, it leaves a nice warm, burning taste which is characteristic of the Lagavulin brand because uh, Lagavulin the name comes from Lagavulin uh, it's the hollow where the mill is it means in Gaelic and here there on the box it says that through time and through aging of the casks that they take out the spicy fireness the burn of the whiskey through this aging process but they leave the heat in and the heat is equated more to warmth and warmth is nice you know like a moon in 16 would be more perfect in winter times well it's summer now again a very long finish and in the in the body of the whiskey itself it gets those peaty notes and more coffee and um, toffee caramel like fudge like candy like Yeah, to be honest, Lagavulin 16 has always been one of my favorites. And if I were condemned to only drink one whiskey in my life, it would be Lagavulin 16. Highly recommend it. Nice price point, 43% ABV. And uh, one of my most favorite single malt whiskeys ever. Well, like and subscribe.